In this episode of an in-depth look, a review of the Buffalo Terror Station. The Buffalo Terror Station is a series of products made by Buffalo Technologies Corporation and the nice thing about the different line of products, and they have one for the desktop, and they have one kind of for your medium home office type setup, and they have one that's even a little more robust. It's a rack mountable unit that uh, you slide into a rack, and it's kind of meant for a larger work group, maybe a hundred plus, perhaps even more. Uh, one of the nice things about all these different Buffalo Terra stations is they run embedded Linux, and they really give you the best of both worlds: a dedicated hardware appliance that just sits there and does nothing but storage, and it does it really well, combined with the stability and the features of the Linux kernel. Every Buffalo Terra station comes network attached. Most of them, I believe, have gigabit networking ports in them. Uh, they support almost all common RAID setups, RAID 1, RAID 5, things like that. Uh, the one I tested, which was the rack mount unit, it uh, ran very quiet. Every now and then the fans would kick up, especially at boot up time, but for the most part, Really quiet. Uh, mine had four drives in there. They were removable, uh, but they were not hot swappable. They were called quick swappable. I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, it has a decent web interface to manage this Buffalo Terra Station. I believe all the Terra Stations have a similar web interface. It's uh, it's a bit basic, but you don't need your web in web interface to configure in your network attached storage to be super flashy. Um, Sometimes I had some strange UI issues where I would perhaps turn something on or off and then it wouldn't register as turned on or off when I'd refresh the page. And then I also had an occasional issue where the web UI wouldn't even load and that was pretty frustrating. Um, generally just hitting refresh a few times, the uh, web interface would come back up and I couldn't find anything I was doing to necessarily trigger this to happen. Uh, it's not like I was applying an update and then immediately expecting the web interface to reapply to reappear. Uh, it just would sometimes I'd be in the middle of just navigating around the system and it would stop responding. Uh, in in the web UI, you can do things like uh, configure time server sync, configure your work group, um, because one of these things that the, one of the things the Buffalo Terra stations do is they can run Samba file services, that's Windows file services, directly off the box. So you don't have to have them attached to say another server hosting them. These these can do the file sharing services directly from them, which kind of helps eliminate that middle Samba file server you don't necessarily have to have since you have one already on the uh, Buffalo Terra stations. Some models, like the one I tested, include iSCSI, which allows basically the SCSI type connection over Ethernet, which means a lot of systems, uh, VMware, Zen, things like that, that you need iSCSI for storage, can utilize the Buffalo Terra stations, at least the Pro series. Um, the rack mount unit, like I said, had four removable drives uh, with an LED screen up front that gave you lots of great information like uh, IP information, firmware versions, the RAID status if any of the drives were damaged, things like that. Very nice at a glance, and you could adjust the brightness of the LED, so that's pretty nice. It fits great in the rack. It takes two U's of space, and uh, it's not it's not as deep as a traditional server, so um, you have a little bit of room back there. Maybe if you want to put it like at the top of your rack where you have a KVM in the back or something like that, it would fit just fine. The um, other really nice thing about the Terra Station is the fact that it does also have USB. Now, I... I, I, I'm, on, I'm to understand that the USB is not necessarily, at least on the Pro Series, meant to add additional storage as much as, as it's meant to link different Terra stations together to overall increase a Terra station pool. I have to look into that, but it does seem like it has some potential, although USB, I would think, would be the bottleneck at that point. That said, one of the things I did notice, and I still have further testing to do, was that the iSCSI performance wasn't great. And I'm not quite sure what the reason for this is. I had it on a gigabit network. Um, the network is a known good network with uh, great response times and everything like that. But even on a gigabit network, my iSCSI performance was somewhere around the 12 to 15 megabit range. That's a little low to have it be your primary file server. If you have uh, a lot of people in the office all of a sudden hitting the file services and that guy starts capping out at 12 megabits, uh, you're definitely going to have some people complaining about file access speed. So I do have to look into that. So I do kind of caution. I was running 
uh, one slight rev, a point zero something release rev of the firmware behind. I didn't see anything in the release notes that talked about iSCSI performance, though. So it's something that does need to be looked into. But overall, in terms of price and uh, usability, and also, of course, if you're in an area where sound is important, if you, need a, if you need a lot of drive storage, you need it to be redundant and protected, but you can't have something super loud, maybe you're doing audio and video. Um, the Buffalo Terror Station is great. Uh, compared to things like the Drobo, it doesn't have some of the flexibility of the Drobo, but it does feel like a more enterprise focus product. And with the combination of iSCSI, even if that performance isn't great, that's a very great addition to uh, what seems like a very strong product lineup. So that's the Buffalo Terra Station Pro 2 that I looked at. Um, and I definitely recommend it if, you, if, if file access isn't your number one concern, um, then definitely this unit... I did have it running in RAID 5 configuration, so I had a 4 terabyte uh, overall storage in, in the amount of disks. I had 4 terabytes, but I only had about 1.5 or 1 point something usable after you take the overhead of the RAID and the overhead of the file system. But that's totally protected, RAID 5 redundant data, so that's not too bad. I, overall, I liked the uh, Buffalo Terra Station quite a bit. <laughs> 